Hello everyone. Well, welcome to 5G in Action live update from Espoo, Finland at our Nokia headquarters. Today I'm inviting you to uh, our Cloud Radio Access Networks Laboratory, where our engineers are uh, showing and, and uh, trying out our exciting uh, innovations live. Today's experts uh, I'm going to introduce to you are Hannu Mikurautio, who heads our Cloud RAN portfolio management, and Anu Pietila uh, from Mobile Networks Marketing. So Anu, how, when we shift to uh, software-based networking, why would we do that and, and what's important? Okay, thanks Päivi. So obviously we are very happy to, to be discussing Cloud RAN here in our, in our lab, as said, and uh, this is the lab. And the, um, the solution that we are running here live is the all-in-cloud uh, base station solution that we launched in Mobile Work Congress. And actually this is exactly the same solution that uh, Verizon has uh, uh, put into a field trial already and the press release is out there and there's further information available on that case. So what is this then all about? So it's about um, virtualizing the full baseband. So both the non-real-time and real-time baseband is now in cloud mm -hmm. um, to, to give this uh, additional benefit of those uh, extremely low latencies uh, in the far edge. So, so obviously, you know, that's just one of the highlights, but, uh, but we can start with that. And um, as said, so we have opened here, you know, uh, the live system and uh, and um, obviously uh, this is uh, raising a lot of interest uh, all the time and we are very happy about that obviously with Anno. So um, also then I would like to mention that although this is the newest thing so obviously our cloud run is commercial and we have our cloud based station both for 4G and 5G yeah. and also we have the 2G and 3G uh, network controllers available and uh, deployed in the field and we have actually already got very nice um, results verified um, for example um, saving energy so um, maybe that's just a few words in the beginning, but uh, if we now start thinking about Cloud RAN and then the evolution to Cloud RAN, so mm -hmm. how would you, uh, Hannu, based on your experiences, consider some of the key uh, triggers right. maybe on that path? Right, so thank you, Hannu. <coughs> so I'm happy, happy to tell you some of the trigger points. Mm -hmm. Of course, it depends that uh, what is the customer situation in the network and what yeah. is their strategy then where they want to go. But typically, okay, there could be the green field, then uh, you start it to scratch. And the, certainly you should think about it, that how about to go in the native cloud directly. Mm -hmm. Then it's that uh, some customers want to go to modernizing the network. Like you say, mm -hmm. that let's use the, what we have and how we modernize that in the native cloud direction. Mm -hmm. and, as Nokia is very much into the mm -hmm. openness. Mm -hmm. So openness is also one what is creating that ecosystem can bring in. Mm -hmm. And then it's uh, for the customer, it uh, gives the, this kind of hardware independency. Mm -hmm. So it's not like a vendor locked. Mm -hmm. So that's, that can be then the one. But I think that if I look the overall the 5G, what is to bring in a lot of these uh, new business opportunities, mm -hmm. like uh, latency is demanded to be <coughs> very low. So then you need to build something in the network and going to the cloud direction mm -hmm. definitely is the right direction to go. So these are maybe the, some of the trigger points. So it mm -hmm. depends a lot of uh, what is the customer situation and their plan mm -hmm. and how they want to migrate the network in the cloud direction. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And then uh, obviously we can be very evolutionary as well, you know, and continue using sure. everything we have in the field. Right, and uh, right. so, so yeah. Um, also then, um, this um, like opportunity then to, to create new business mm. and uh, so not just uh, getting the uh, new software and services out there faster but, um, but then when we are now talking about this uh, far edge and uh, cloud and 5G, mm. uh, multi-access edge computing um, everything running then on the edge optimized solution so, so we are also creating this kind of a really um, really interesting area and uh, platform for innovation. 
right. and uh, creating mm -hmm. then those huge experiences for the customers. So, mm. so obviously, I mean, cloud, cloud run, cloud, I mean, just a, just a vast topic to discuss. Um, but then coming back to maybe some of the benefits. So oh. how would you maybe, what, what would you, Hannu, pick? No. Pick like a benefit. So, yeah. <clears throat> so let me do it different way now then, yeah. because we have a lot of benefits yeah. coming in the cloud. But as we are now in here in mm -hmm. the Nokia laboratory, mm -hmm. so and we have a here this end-to-end all-in-cloud uh, solution in place. So let me then go through this and you will mm -hmm. see what are the benefits. Sure. So certainly we have always this uh, uh, mobile and then we have a connected the radio where we have a Massimo radio here. And that's connected to cloud. So if you look at the, what is coming then as a use case demand in the, uh, then, the, then the cloud is that uh, if you think about gaming, for instance. Mm -hmm. So gaming is needing low latency, real time. And then it means that you have to bring this edge nearby of the radio. Mm -hmm. So and there is the far, we say the far edge. And that is the, where you need the specific product. Mm -hmm. And if you look now here, we have a, I'm very proud about this product. Uh, <laughs> this is extremely yes. <laughs> unique and competitive product. It's the airframe portfolio and then we have an open edge. It's already launched and it's uh, really something what you have backed. And it's the server. We have a certain amount of the server capacity is huge. You bring it nearby of the radio and you create it then this kind of that all the latency Mm -hmm. demand can be fulfilled, etc. Mm -hmm. So I could say that uh, I'm proud about the uh, Finnish ice hockey, that they, they won the yes, world champion. Sure. But I have to say that I'm pretty proud of this baby also here. So I think yeah. these kind of benefits and like a 5G is bringing the use cases that your network has to be different and then the mm -hmm. demand is coming so that you need this kind of far edge product in there. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that's maybe some of the example. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah, that's, uh, I think, uh, a, a good summary. And um, then obviously, um, as we know, so everything then starts when you start discussing about this. So what's, what's the need? Mm. What's the use case? Absolutely. What's the latency budget? Yes. Um, what's already out there in the field? How we can then, uh, in a flexible way, um, plan these new cloud run architectures right. on the edge optimized. How you can migrate uh, from today, exactly. like we have an air scale, yeah. you can bring yeah. this in the top of the air scale and then you yeah. can migrate to the cloud. Yeah. That's uh, also very much about this kind of competitive advantage. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it depends, it depends yeah. a lot of what you, what customers needing, mm -hmm. how they are planning to build the network and mm -hmm. then we are ready to support that. So. Yeah, exactly. Thanks, thanks, Hannu. I think, Paivi, maybe that's a very short summary. We could continue, but uh, yeah. <laughs> I can hear that you are very loud and proud, and and sure. rightly so for for the uh, Nokia's leading edge in the in the cloud and RAN area, and of course in in 5G as well. So, if you'd like to achieve computing efficiencies uh, in your network, and if you'd like to learn more about our uh, 5G end-to-end -end portfolio, which is globally available, which is all in cloud please tap into nokia.com slash 5G, uh, read our blog posts, nokia.com slash blog, and of course, follow us in social media on Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, and WeChat. Thanks so much for joining today. See you again soon.